120. Walk is armed. FCS count started. One ten. Vent valves locked. T minus one minute and counting. Forty. Stable at step three. Twenty-five. Status check. Go Alice. Go Centaur. Go GPS. Twenty. Fifteen. This is Atlas Mission Control. At T minus ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, we have ignition, two, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the 8th GPS 2F satellite for the United States Air Force. GPS provides worldwide positioning, navigation, and timing services for the military and civilian users. You are hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data. Let's listen in for mission progress. Good there. Full pitch yaw programs are in. Everything looking good. And we're continuing right down the center of the range track. 0.7 miles in altitude. Two tenths of a mile downrange. Traveling at nearly a thousand miles per hour. Engine continues to operate as expected. Flight control looks good. Rates are as expected. Engine is steady at 100% rate of thrust. Everything is looking good. Roll program complete. Everything looking good. Continuing right down the center of the range track. Coming up on Mach 1. Vehicle's now supersonic. Continuing to fly down the range track. Everything looks good. Engine is still operating as expected at 100% rated thrust. Flight control disturbances are good. We are now passing through mass dynamic pressure. We have entered our second throttle phase. We are now operating the engine at 95% rated thrust, right as expected. And we are nine mi or 10 miles in altitude. 5.9 miles downrange, traveling at nearly 2,000 miles per hour. Engine parameters look good. Vehicle is stable. Normal control on booster PU. And the vehicle is continuing to fly as expected. And we are now at 50% of our liftoff rate. Everything is looking good. Steering enabled. Normal transient for enabling steering. 95% rated thrust levels continue to look good. And fire the pyro valve, activating the reaction control system on Centaur. Pressure is coming up as expected. Everything looking good. Next event we expect to see is throttling down the main engine to 92% of rated thrust in approximately 20 seconds. We're now 29, 34 miles in altitude, 55 miles downrange, traveling at over 5,000 miles per hour. And we've entered the next throttle segment down at 92% rated thrust right on time. Engine parameter is looking good. Vehicle accelerating smoothly. Good flight control. Rates are smooth. And the vehicle is now 25% of its liftoff weight. Next event we're looking for is entering our constant 5G throttle phase. In this phase, the 
RD-180 will throttle down to maintain a constant 5 Gs, and we have now started boost phase chill down on Centaur, preparing the turbo pumps on Centaur for firing. Everything is looking good. And we've now entered the final phase on the RD-180, filing a constant 4.6 Gs, coming up on booster engine cutoff. We have BECO, normal shutdown signatures. Coming up on staging, we have stage separation. Fired the retro rockets, pre-start and fuel, pre-start on locks. We have ignition, full thrust. Our L10 is up and running normally, everything looking good. Smooth start transient, and we have fairing separation. Both brake wires indicate a successful fairing step. And our Alton looks good. We've gone to fixed angles on the Centaur PU system. Engine operating parameters reacting as expected. Vehicle rates looking good. Everything looks normal. We've had our purge firing is on the this reaction This is Atlas control. Mission Control at T plus five minutes. Rob Gannon has just confirmed payload fairing jettison and all systems continue to operate nominally. The mission is in the first of two Centaur engine burns as the Atlas V travels in a northeasterly direction up the east coast of the United States. Our next event, Centaur main engine cutoff, will occur about 12 and a half minutes from now. I'm joined now by Captain Kevin Pegalo from the United States Air Force Global Positioning Systems Directorate. Thank